Researchers are finding new evidence of COVID-19 in animals, this time in white-tailed deer. 2 News Oklahoma's Katie Kelleher shares what this could mean for Oklahoma hunters during deer season. Katie. As hunters take to the woods this deer season, wildlife specialists are urging slight caution after COVID-19 antibodies were found in white-tailed deer. In this year's herd health study, the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation says about 30% of the state's white-tailed deer surveyed had COVID-19 antibodies. But this news isn't causing too much concern for wildlife specialists just yet. We don't have any evidence that suggests that it's something you should be overly um, you know, afraid about. So far, there is no evidence of a deer spreading COVID to a human. If there is any transmission, Dr. Dwayne Elmore, Extension Wildlife Specialist at Oklahoma State University, says it would come from breathing or possibly droplets around the deer's mouth. So just in case, he suggests taking precautions when harvesting your deer. There is a, a some risk that if you touch the animal's mouth, if it had the virus there and then you touched your face, that you know you could potentially come in contact with it that way. So just wear gloves and don't touch your face and then throw the gloves away. Dr. Elmore says you don't need to worry if you just see a deer in your neighborhood. He also says the virus doesn't appear to be affecting a deer's health. But if a deer does have COVID, is it safe to eat? People that are consuming venison, they do not need to be concerned. Uh, again, this is a respiratory disease and the virus, uh, even if it was present on meat, it's going to be destroyed by the cooking process. When it comes to deer season overall, archery season is well underway and gun season begins a week from Saturday. Oklahoma game warden Josie Branch says they're seeing a healthy number of deer being harvested, but are running into some regulation and licensing issues, like hunters applying for their license after harvesting their deer. The fines for that stuff add up quickly and, you know, you just want to make sure that you're caught up on the regulations before before you go out into the field, you know, knowing the laws and regulations before you go th to the field is is crucial. The Go Outdoors Oklahoma app will help you keep track of your license and those regulations so you can avoid getting any of those fines. You can learn more about it on our website, kdrh.com. In Tulsa, Katie Kelleher, 2 News Oklahoma.